Welcome to a new episode of Delphine Circle, where we uncover the mind, body, and spirit of success. Subscribe now for free to receive updates on the latest interviews. Then sit back, relax, and tune in. Well, hello, guys, and welcome to The Circle. It's great to be here. Yay. Well, I'm really excited because this is only our second show in the Mind, Body, Spirit series, and we feel super honored to have Dr. Patrick Porter, uh, award-winning author, uh, researcher, educator, and founder of BrainTap. And we also have Salme Klaus, the beautiful girl that introduced <laughs> us to BrainTap originally on the show, brought Dr. Porter back, uh, biohacker, holistic nutritionist, and brain tap enthusiast for sure uh so we have so much to cover today because this is a lot of really incredible information so let's just jump right into it dr porter what is brain tap well brain taps an, a hardware piece of hardware in an app that works for helping you to think better perform better and sleep better so it's a it basically you just press play to change for those people that want to meditate but haven't found that quite way to do it. It's, it can help you to accelerate that process. But really, it's to downregulate your nervous system so you don't have the stress that's interfering with all of our great healthy lifestyles. Wonderful. And it actually was just recently that I fully understood that it was primarily like a meditation tool, right? Mm -hmm. So for those people who say, I have a hard time meditating, this is the answer, right? right. We're, we're kind of niching out something called brain fitness because we've shown meditation only helps really while you're there. And there's some residual effect. There's a halo effect. But what, we're, what we want to prove is that we can actually train the brain and it can have a long-term effect. And maybe we'll get into a little bit of that with some of our research because we want to train the brain. Right now we're being trained, unfortunately, by the media to be stressed out and fear-based. So our cortisol levels are increasing and it's stressing us out. So we need to retrain the brain on a daily basis, just like exercise. I mean, you, everyone knows now that we need to physically do something to, to stay in shape. The same thing's true with our brain. I love it. All right, well, we have a brain tap here. So let's see, can you give us a little demonstration? Sure, it's, it's pretty simple. You, there's a corded option and a Bluetooth, but you just turn it on. Once you do, there's lights in the ears, and we'll Ooh. have Salmi put it on for us, and there's lights in the eyes, so your eyes stay closed. When you put it on, you can cord it if you don't want to use the Bluetooth feature. Um, but if you're using Bluetooth, you just start the session. It's, the, the app is actually synced with the headset. Oh. So in our 1,800 sessions, each one of them is encoded differently for something called neuroplasticity for people. That, that Think of that as brain speed. How fast does your brain think, act, and respond? And the better, the more neuroplasticity, the smarter a person is. Wow. So it's just like a computer. So she puts it on like that, just kicks You actually back. look really cute in that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's got something over the ears, it's got something over the eyes. Do you always use them together or is there, would you ever not use the eyepiece if you're reading or something like that? Well, if, if some people do use the Gamma program while they're doing their emails and things because that's really good for cognition and um, breaks down amyloid plaque in the brain, especially if you're getting older. Yeah. So, but Now, are your eyes closed with that yes, thing in front of you? Your me? eyes yeah. are closed. The, your eyes actually have 300 times more mitochondria than the brain, which means it's going to absorb light energy. So we want to get energy into the brain. In order to fix the brain, we have to have ATP, energy at the source. So the most underprescribed nutrient on earth is light. So we, we deliver it through the ears. There's red and blue light. Those yeah, are, why would you put light through the ears? Well, there's something called auricular therapy. Most people know acupuncture. Mm -hmm. But in, there's a Dr. Nogier, he found out there's different auricular points where you can use needles or lasers or seeds, and it actually triggers different responses in the body. Interesting. This, this happens through something called meridians. Okay. So we can put light in there. So we're bathing the light. We put a 20-minute dose of light, which is equivalent to a two-minute laser treatment. But so the light absorbed the the light is absorbed by the red uh, red blood cells. It's carried throughout the body, mostly to the brain is where we want it. So that the brain that is having problems, maybe it's stressed out, maybe you have dementia, or Alzheimer's, whatever. We need to get energy in there. Even sleep. Most people don't realize the problem why two thirds of America isn't sleeping is they don't have enough energy in their brain to sleep. Wow. Uh, we've all had children that we couldn't get to sleep because they were overtired. Well, mm -hmm. the body's overtired. The nervous system is worn out. We get energy in there, now they can sleep better, perform better, and you know, obviously just on a day-to-day -day basis, think better. Yeah, how did that feel when you have it on? It feels great. Um, uh, sometimes, depending on the program, 
the light is with some programs it's less light and with some programs it's a little bit more oh, yeah. so sometimes i just put it up when it's too much uh -huh. i feel like it's too much stimulation for my eyes uh -huh. i put it up and i still get amazing meditation just through ears and through the yeah. she has the, light eyes too so yeah when most people don't realize with dark eyed like you and i mm -hmm. we don't bring in as much light energy into mm -hmm. our brain that's why okay. blue eyed or green eyed people usually will wear sunglasses it's good to know yeah and it's a, a what do you call it a trait that is going away, right? Yes. I can't remember what that trait's called, but yeah. yeah, because light eyes is considered um weaker, right? Yeah. They yeah. because they it doesn't um what do you call it? Keep the eye they keep the light out of your eyes as much. Right. So very interesting. Well, um and you how often do you how long do you wear it? It depends on a session and how much time you have for meditation. Mm -hmm. I do it starting from six minutes. There is like one sound bowl uh, yeah. <laughs> program that is really my you favorite. can do it in six minutes. You yeah. can. You can get like amazing rejuvenation rest in six minutes. But it's better, you know, if you have 15 minutes or 30 minutes, it's better if you have more time okay. because yeah. then it will be deeper meditation. And There's three times a day most people like to use it. Mm -hmm. like if you, in the morning, we have what we call digital coffee to wake up the brain. Mm -hmm. As you get, you know, better looking and more intelligent with age, mm -hmm. there's a brain wave called SMR. That one atrophies. So we need to mm -hmm. exercise that one in the morning. So for sleep, a lot of people think I need to do it right before sleep. No, you need to do right in the morning because if you didn't get a good night's sleep, your brain dysregulated, meaning that they're not synchronized. So, and then in the middle of the day, we've shown at two o'clock in the afternoon, most people watching this probably can identify, you get a low and that's when we go get coffee, tea or chocolate. And that's because our biological system actually drops in temperature every day at two o'clock. It increases temperature at two in the morning. That's why if you're one of those people that wakes up around two or three in the morning, that's when your biological clock is resetting. So what the body is telling us is we need a nap. Mm. Like these bodies, even though we've progressed, we have the internet and all of these things, our bodies are still the same one that was on the Serengeti 200,000 years ago. So it wants a nap. It doesn't want to yeah. keep going. And then at night, when you're talking about the visor, a lot of people will listen right before bed. And depending upon like the light-eyed people, they might not use the visor mm -hmm. at night because mm -hmm. it's going to give you energy. All but right. at first you need energy to heal. But then... You know, myself, I do it twice a day, usually in the morning and then in the afternoon when I need Me to reboot. Too. I do it twice a day. Yeah, yeah. so not, not nighttime. Because that's a lot of times when people meditate mm -hmm. is in the evening. Mm -hmm. but you can. You, you can. can. Yeah. I personally just do it first thing in the morning and then during the day when I need yeah. some rest. Yep. Wonderful. Yep. So, what, what is the most common use of it? How do people, what is, you know, how are people mostly using it? Because I know it's like <clears throat> 1800 right. something programs, right? right. The, what we find most people use it for is for sleep, actually. Okay. Most of our users will listen right before sleep of at least one session of their of their sessions they do during the day because of better sleep. We need to improve well, that sleep. And they sleep. say that's the number one health concern yeah. in the United, in the whole world, actually. Well, we know sleep is your, where you incubate your superpowers. So mm -hmm. if you don't get sleep, you know, you're, it's like you have kryptonite in your pocket. You can't do much. Mm -hmm. So in the, in the process of listening, what we find is it's usually stress is number one. People come to us because of stress, and and so we have a lot of sessions for that, but also weight loss. You know, when I was featured wow. in People Magazine, they, they said, you know, how did these people losing weight? And I said, well, we sent them over 100 people. We could have sent them 1,000 that had taken half their weight off and kept it off for more than five years. Oh, my God. Because a lot of people don't realize that it's not always what you're eating. It could be what's eating you, you know, mm -hmm. the, the psychosomatic reason for that weight gain. Mm -hmm. But also, the light, sound, and vibration, we've shown that it increases metabolism up to 30%. Just by relaxing. You think you're just taking a nap, but we have a device called the NeuroCheck where we can scan somebody's nervous system pre and post, and we can show them. In, in fact, you'll be at an event tonight. I'll do it. Maybe mm -hmm. give you some screenshots you can yeah. share with the audience yes. and show how you did pre and post brain tap. I would love that. Absolutely. So now you say you have all of these people who have done it for more than five years. How long has this technology been around? Well, this technology has only been around since 2014, but I invented the space actually in 1986. Tell so us about that. Um, what happened, well, earlier than that, my dad was a Silva instructor. The Silva method is a meditation process. Mm -hmm. process. So I grew up setting up classrooms and watching my dad give seminars. Love Jose so, Silva. That's how yeah. I originally started meditating. Yeah. So yeah. you'll be familiar with our yeah. sessions. So, and so we were doing that. And then my dad, that helped him and helped me. My first book, Awaken the Genius, is all about accelerated learning techniques. So we found that when the brain's balanced, you just become smarter. So I wrote a book about it. I was doing what they called, uh, I was with a group called Society of Accelerated Learning and Teaching. So we developed a set of goggles that people would wear. We've done, did many studies on people accelerating their learning. And then we found out, hey, it does all these other things like mm. in, improves pain control. It helps 
like mind over menopause. It helps with stress-free childbirth. It helps with your golf game. I mean, we have a soccer teams. I mean, we have one soccer team in Kansas City put a 20 station brain tapping room in. Um, we're in almost every professional sports team has a brain tapping space. And we have schools like a school in India that's called the Creative School. They put a brain tap in every classroom. So when the child gets stressed out, they can actually go to the back of the classroom and de-stress. And I bet when, before COVID, I would go there once a year and just go to see the kids. Cause there's about 180 kids at the school and it's one that we help, um, you know, fund so that they, they can get their education. It's right outside of Bangalore, but it's awesome. They, they did everything there like a biohacking. It's a biohacking school. It's, wow. it's all grounded. It's open air. Wow. I mean, it's a, it, if you look I up the creative school. Right? Oh, yeah, it's really awesome. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I thought it should be like in California or Scottsdale, oh, Arizona sure, or something. Right? That's what it looks like. Amazing. So <clears throat> you say kids are using it. How? At what age can you start using BrainTap? Well, if they do hashtag brain tap, they'll see a little baby online that they're actually putting it on and off. And every time they, the mother takes it off, the baby starts crying. But when they put it back on, the baby stops crying. It's because when the, <laughs> when the, when the brain's balanced, you don't feel pain. But Especially, this is yeah. a little bit too big for yes, a baby. Right. Do you yeah, have like just sitting baby sizes? Uh, no, we, what we find is that about four years old is a good, okay. a good time. And they can also just use the app. Yeah. So a lot of times the parents will just put it on before they go to sleep. We have 48 sessions for children mm -hmm. and they'll put it on because <clears throat> it's meant to downregulate their nervous system. Because if mm -hmm. they get too hyper, mm -hmm. uh, that's actually a brainwave called beta. If that isn't controlled, it can dysregulate the brain as well. Um, most people probably be shocked to know that a brain map of a dementia patient and a brain map of an autistic and a brain map of a ADD person, there's not a lot of difference. Wow. So it's just how it shows up and manifests mm -hmm. in the person's life. So, so what type of science did, do you have to study to, to find this? And how come we're not seeing this everywhere? I think you're going to see it everywhere now. Okay. Uh, we have the technology. Back in the 80s, we were like aliens that came from another planet. You know, I remember being at the Consumer Electronics Show because in 89, we got the best new gadget of the year. We had a lineup of people but they didn't understand it. Yeah. But everybody wanted to do it because right. they wanted to relax. But there was no cell phones in, no CDs, mm. no digital downloads. Yeah. So it was kind of crazy. But I think now people are understanding because people realize the biggest fear today is not public speaking anymore. The biggest fear is fear of losing your memory and being a burden on your family. You wow. know, So that's the big fear. So people are realizing, you go to the grocery store, how many covers have brains on them? You know, yeah. you wouldn't have seen that in the 1960s or 70s. I mean, we didn't have this problem. And it's a, I think it's a combination of diet oh, and for sure. diet lifestyles. Mm, I mean, stress. The, what they call it digital dementia for a reason. I mean, if you look at somebody using their cell phone walking and you put somebody who's got dementia walking, they look the same. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so they're stumbling around looking down. Such I a love sad that. reality, yeah. right? Well, I love the YouTube where they're walking into poles and walking into ponds and yeah. because they're just so distracted. Yeah. Where, you know, they say that we have the, somebody wrote a book that they said that our attention span is the same of a, as a goldfish, nine seconds. You know, so, you know, that's not, wow. I don't think we should be proud about that, but right, that's yeah. what it is. Wow. So have there, is, you know, is this FDA approved or what type of things? And, and Well, back in the 80s when we started this, they considered it a gadget. We're, we're, not, we're not an FDA approved. We don't okay. have to be. Yeah. Um, we've kind of fallen into the area of like an audio book okay. or something like that. Although, or a therapy. Yeah. Uh, my franchise company was a... Guided meditation with the, or something, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we mostly worked with addictions and things of that nature. We, mm -hmm. I, wrote the DU, I wrote the programs for DUIs for the state of Arizona. So I took that knowledge and put it into... We have two different addiction programs. So I, I think that what, what we're going to find is there's, there's a need in every area of your life. Mm -hmm. there's, when, when somebody asks me, what do I think it takes to be well? I'm writing a book actually with Rashika Sakri, who's the past Google. She was head of Google's wellness programs. And we were doing a program with them on peak performance, which we can talk about in a moment. So we, we kind of communicated. But then now we're talking about the third wave of wellness. I think there's four waves, but I'm, this book is about the third wave because the first wave is nutrition, you, like in your business, right? Yes. You can't outthink a bad diet. Mm, I mean, yes. unless you're uh, St. Germain and you can use alchemy to change sugar into, uh, you know, B3 or something, yes. you know, you, you're going to have problems eating sugar, you know, mm. and things of that nature. So you got to get off of that. Number two is you got to move and breathe. So I always recommend people dance, uh, Tai Chi, yoga. You got to do something to get your body moving and breathing because then mm. uh, right now, setting is the new smoking, right? Yeah. So, and that's because we actually have done studies where we showed people just sit for two hours and I'll show you what happens to your brain function. 
It's mm. terrible. We're designed to be up moving oh, when the so sun's fun. out. Yeah. You know, so once I did that study now, if you're at my, at my house or my office, I have a stand-up desk because it just, I was amazed at what happens to the brain. Mm -hmm. the, the body is meant to be, you know, moving and breathing. Active, yeah. Number three is brain fitness. What are you doing? Now you can do breath work. There's a, we, I just had a published article with PubMed where we did it with Ames Bhopal, which is the All Indian Institute of Medical Sciences. I work a lot with uh, the head of Bhopal Physiology is on our board. And so we do a lot of studies with them. I always like to take ancient traditions and make modern technology. So we showed how doing a pranayama, how you could do the same thing as our dementia study. Hmm. And the only problem is you got to do the work. You know, a lot of people don't want to do the work. They don't want to yeah. do the, the breathing techniques. Yeah. They don't want to learn all that. Yeah. You got to do it three times a day. But we did have the frontal lobe, which happens in dementia. You're, this part of the brain, the executive functioning, gets out of, out of sync. Mm. So even if it's off, just voltage is energy to the brain. So if it's even off just a fraction of a volt, we will not have a good memory. Not that we don't have a good memory. One of the good recall system is what it is. The memories are there. It's like having a computer and you take it to the repair shop and go, I know my file's on there, but I can't get to them. I can't get to the hard drive or whatever. It's like the memories are there, but they can't recall them. Hmm. So have there ever been any studies that showed how it affects dementia or Alzheimer's or anything like that? That's what we're doing. We have, there's a book called Saving Your Brain by Dr. Kelly Miller. He has a chapter called Brain Tap to the Rescue because what we did was we set up protocol. Now, if you do more things, it's even better. But we, when you're doing a study, you just do one thing so you can say, hey, this is what caused it. So those that say, well, you could do this nutrition or that exercise, we know that. That's, mm -hmm. But just using the brain tap three times a day, we took women 55, 65, who are all on the dementia scale mm -hmm. in cognitive skills. They all scored that they were dementia patients. After six weeks doing this three times a day, morning sessions, afternoon sessions, and evening sessions, they had to get they had to do them three times a day. Every one of them got off the dementia scale in six weeks. Every one of them uh, had matching hemispheres within six weeks. Every one of them had uh, the lowest was forty nine percent neuroplastic change, which meant they increased the energy of their brain. And energy is life right now. I mean, if you, you, you most people drag through the day and they get home and they pass out. You know, they, they're no good to yeah. themselves or their family. And that just, you know, we're, we live in an energy economy. So right. we need to we need to think about that. And light's part of that equation. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. gosh. So I've noticed and, you know, I'm in my 50s. I'll go ahead and say that. <laughs> <laughs> My I like the 50s. memory. What are you about? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> we're we reinventing them. Yes, just saying. Yes. Um, my memory has definitely started to to wean. I'm like noticing, like just right now, I couldn't think of the word that. Um, and does that help with that? Oh yeah. What what happens is what, when you have a memory. So it doesn't have to be dementia, or Alzheimer's. No. It can just be yeah. your basic. Well, think about under stress. Mm -hmm. Anytime you're under stress, you know, yes. like you don't, your memory doesn't work as well. Totally. We've all been to parties and they introduce you to yeah. 15 people. And two minutes later, somebody was just introduced. You comes up, you're going, yeah. uh -huh. somebody comes up and yeah. says their name. I forgot their name. Mm -hmm. That's because you're under that stress, stress. environment. Yeah. Yeah. And also and, when you're sleepless, you <clears throat> cannot remember stuff, right? That's yeah. so true. Yeah. One thing we help with stress, number one, because we're going to lower cortisol. Cortisol is the super enemy to the brain. Mm -hmm. They actually showed that a year like yeah. a, a year like COVID mm -hmm. actually can shrink the brain three quarters of an inch. Wow. So, you know, I always tell people, if you don't like the size of your brain, just watch the news, yeah. you know, because you're going to be stressed <laughs> out, yeah, worried. Totally. <laughs> it's just like, you, yeah. if you're feeling too happy, watch the news. You're yeah. going to be depressed in no yes. time. Yeah, so, I don't watch news. Right, we don't right. either. <laughs> so no it's, news. It's all about opportunities, right? And it's all yeah. about knowing that there's an outcome. I mean, I remember we were on a book tour with my son. We had an RV and we didn't even leave town. He's going, Where, when are we going to get there, Dad? I'm going, are you kidding me? You got a TV. <laughs> you, know, yeah. you can watch these movies. Right. You gotta be I was used to doing it in a station wagon. You know, it was, it was terrible going on trips. And I said, so I sat down and I showed him a map. Mm -hmm. I said, Alex, here's where we're going. And he got so good. He was only 12 years old. But he would, he would st this was before GPS, obviously. Mm -hmm. Now we just tell Google what to do. Right, exactly. <laughs> but the, what, what had happened now is he would start telling me. So I said, here's where we're going. Here's the signs. Tell me when you see these. Mm -hmm. So he started anticipating. It's almost like when you're trying to do a weight loss program or trying to help. You need those small micro mm -hmm. changes mm -hmm. so you can make the, the big change at the end. Right. As soon as he knew there was an outcome and he knew there was some milestones along the way, he was willing to do that. What happens if you don't have a future or you don't have outcomes? Your brain just goes everywhere in fear, anxiety, and frustration mm -hmm. are really the, the cause 
one one study I think I should mention to your listeners because it might be part of the group that watches your show. We did a we did a study with a Peak Performance Institute with the top Googlers. These were the top 100. They measure everything they do from keystrokes to everything. And they get really good results with their program. But we want to do, let's just do the training with them and do the training with BrainTap. We had a 19% improvement, peak performance. Whoa. But the, the, the part that really was eye-opening to everybody was when we did them, we had them do standardized testing to see like their dementia scale. Mm-hmm. We also had them do their anxiety, depression, all of these they were all depressed. In fact, clinically depressed. These were overachievers, but because they were being ran so hard, so long, they scored that they should have been on medicine maybe. But at the end of the study, they had a 71% improvement in the dementia score. Oh my God. So once you start, energy is the key here to having a positive attitude, having more That's energy, so exactly. having better relationships, yeah. whatever is going on. Because if you're not, if you can't show up as your authentic self, mm-hmm. You know, you you, do, you just can't give as much to anything you're doing, whether it's a job or a relationship or family life. So, how long does it take if I, you know, I'm getting I'm getting mine tonight? <laughs> if how long does it take before I would actually be able to feel a difference? Today, I, really? exactly. after one yeah. session, yeah. Uh, yeah. I remember uh, then you did the neuro check on yeah. me. Mm-hmm. Uh, he measured my brain waves and a bunch of my biological markers with neuro check before 10 minute meditation and after. Mm-hmm. And I literally had like 30 40 percent improvement in every wow. area, we'll and I was shocked. So, oh, wow. yes, get and it's to, something you can feel, it's not uh, just something it. on the neuro yes. check machine, yes. you can see you can the difference. Feel it. Yeah. Wow. That's Most amazing. people, the one study we did that we're actually presenting for the NIH here next in May uh, in Scottsdale, they're doing the big integrative conference. They're finally doing it live. They t- they accepted three of our recent studies. So we're presenting mm-hmm. them at that that conference. It's just a bunch of researchers. So it's not a kind of most people would want to go there. It's probably going to be really boring, but you have to present, you know, to, to get the research. We showed that one session, We it's now a 500 person study. The average change was 39.8%. A neurological wow. change in one session. Now that's where you're going to get the that's biggest amazing. change. So it's kind of like changing your diet. If you yeah. if you yeah. get rid of sodas, you're yeah. going to see a, that's the biggest thing you can do, right? Yeah. So what we found is when you reduce stress, that's the biggest thing you can do for health. So it doesn't have to be somebody that's in bad health. It can be even somebody that's just trying to reach their peak performance. I, people who are yeah. optimal. Absolutely, everybody can benefit. Well, from there's this. two studies we did that blew yeah. people away on that. We had uh, we are, we work with Seminole College in Florida. If you go to their website, you'll see they have a page for BrainTap because they use BrainTap to recruit people into their sports programs wow. we, for mental wellness. We, we took their golf team. They're three, t- three years in a row national champions. These were elite athletes anyway. They, they were the women. And they, we actually improved their alpha by 300%. These were elite athletes anyway. Oh so when you can improve, and what they said was, we were going to take the equipment out after our study, and they go, where are you going? And, I, <laughs> and, I, and the, the college actually said, if you leave the equipment here, we'll man it. So we have a we have a uh, a room that's now the brain tapping room at the college, and all the student athletes, anybody who wants to at the college, but usually it's the student athletes come in. We did the same thing in Brazil. Brazil actually has they changed their neuro center to the brain tap neuro center because they're doing they're doing the uh, digital drug study for us, mm. where they're showing that brain tap actually is a digital drug, and we show how we regulate the 54 different neurotransmitters that make you feel good or bad. Their goal is they don't have the FDA there when you're asking that question earlier. They have what's something called Invisa. And Invisa and, and the government actually funded it, a quarter million dollar study to prove that brain tap's a digital drug so they could replace opioids with brain tap. Oh my gosh. So, so yeah, we're we're showing and the study's done, the, the phenomenal results. We're gonna we're gonna get it, we're gonna get it done in because you only feel pain in a beta brain wave. That's the awake state. Yeah. That's why when you get put under anesthetic, you don't feel you know, anesthesia, you don't feel the, the pain and because the beta brain waves knock down. But if you increase alpha and theta, That's you show me somebody amazing. who's in pain and I'll show you somebody who's highly yeah. stressed. You, yeah. you used it. For I used it for pain. So yeah. I got, um, I found brain tap about a year ago when I just came back from the Sparrow Clinic where I was getting a treatment for CRPS, which is yeah. complex regional pain syndrome. And I was, I was at the clinic for six months. And when I got home, uh, I was about 80, 85% better, but I wanted definitely to get to 100% into remission. So uh, I, had, I had been doing uh, Joe Dispenza's meditations daily for many years, but I got, um, my brain got used to it. So they weren't as effective for me anymore. So I was looking for something 
more innovative, mm-hmm. something new. And I was taking one of the health um, online classes and they talked about brain tap. And I just like got fascinated and I researched, I ordered and I started using it a year ago and I got addicted to it. <laughs> so now I use it twice a day, every single day. Mm-hmm. And, and it definitely, um, after a couple of months, my pain from went from, um, I, I became pain free. Wow. And I, you know, that's amazing. The Spiro Clinic needs to get some of these brain tests. Oh, uh, they there. are. Because yeah. you are working yeah, with I'm, Dr. I'm putting, yeah. yeah, we're yeah. actually putting together a whole series based on that. I, I had her listen to it to see if I was on the right track. So. Yes. Oh, so we worked on the yeah, CRPS program some. together a little bit, and I'm actually very curious how that's going because yeah. I want to use it. Yeah. Even though I'm in remission, what, yeah. Yeah. I still want to use it. What, yeah. So the, all the ther- all the, what's in this? The sound part of it, most people don't understand the value of that. They think, oh, that guy's just talking. But there's some psychological things going on there, too. That's my background, the psychology. But there's also words can change up to uh, 2,300 gene expressions. So if you want to express, we've got to, we have, we speak, we have internal dialogue. We talk to ourselves 90,000 words. Which is the most important dialogue we have. Unfortunately, 70, 80 percent of those are negative. negative. Yeah. That's it's it, that's just part of our nature. Yeah. We're, our brain is still trying to protect us from mm-hmm. whatever's happening. So yeah. we're, most people are on guard, especially if you know somebody that drives in the car and they're always going. <gasps> yeah. You know, they, they have they might have a primitive Protective reflex model. problem, but they, they <laughs> you learned about that, I'm sure, oh, to yeah. unlock those reflexes. Absolutely. A lot, a lot of people haven't their the limiting their beliefs. Yeah. It's the working on. That's what I do every single morning okay. when I wake up at 4 a.m. I do my meditation and in the morning I always work on um, life improvement and creating the life that I want. And you have, pro- um, there's programs specifically for specifically these. programs for this. It doesn't and have to be about pain or, no, or energy no. or sleep. And it's all about um, working uh, with your limiting beliefs, becoming more positive, creating the you know, like we are the creators of our lives Mm -hmm. and we create with positive thoughts, Mm -hmm. positive affirmations, the the self-talk that is helpful. Mm -hmm. And it's all programmed. He has done so many like amazing um, guided meditations and visualizations. And and there is a lot of psychology behind it. That's for sure. Everyone's a training platform. So it's, there's, most people don't know this, but I, the, one of the other books I've written is called Discover the Language of the Mind, and the techniques are in there, the 12 techniques. So mm-hmm. when somebody goes through it, they're going to get one of those techniques in each of those sessions. You don't have to know what they are to benefit from them. It's kind of like doing a dance. You don't have to know why they did all that. You yeah. just do the dance and feel good about it. Yeah. So the same thing's true with the brain. We just need to, we need to get the brain moving again in, instead of just, you know, mm-hmm. kind of boiling in its stress. Know that, that happens. One of the things that I saw is that the programs are kind of broken into bundles. Mm-hmm. So give me an idea. If somebody's going on and they're interested in ordering it, I mean, how do they know what bundle is right for them? Right. Well, they can get them all, obviously. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's $30. Wait. When they do the $30 now, if they get it from this show, they should call and just say, hey, Dr. Porter said to call and ask for the power user and we'll give it to them. Oh, it's, wow. Eventually, I, this is being changed so everybody gets it. So the yeah. the, the difference between the pe- bundles mm-hmm. and the power user is, and the power user, that's how our clinics use it. We have 2,400 clinics around the country Ooh. using it. So all the protocols are there. Mm-hmm. So 1,800 protocols. Yes. They're, so yes. they're all there. And then, but the bundles like SleepRx, for instance, on 2020, it was voted the best sleep app by Men's Health Magazine. Wow. And that's because it, it takes you through a series every time different. Like I love Joe Dispenza and he's mm-hmm. he's incredible, you yeah. know, what he talks about. But if you listen to the same thing over and over yeah, again, even if it's just a few, to. in fact, we, yeah. we've shown people, even if you listen to really good binaural beats, mm-hmm. if you listen to the same one three times in a row, your brain doesn't even respond yeah, because to Because there is no more neuroplasticity, right? right. Which... You, need, you need change. Yeah. It's like going to the workout. If you work out the same muscles every day, you're not going to get the same gain. The yeah. same is true with your neurology. Th- that's why I got so fascinated with uh, brain tap. Like from the beginning for me, it was like, wow, I want to have all these options. <laughs> there is no way I will ever listen to all of them, but yeah. at least I want to have those options. Yeah. And we're so. just, I'm always creating new ones. I, one that you might want to listen to now is it's called Overcoming Overwhelm. Oh, and we created, like there's that. a series I did with Dr. Joel Rosen, who's, he's the truth about adrenal fatigue. Yeah. So I did a series to complement his program, but you don't have to be doing his program to benefit from the brain tap sessions. Yeah. Cause it's all about how do we, how do we handle overwhelm? Cause right now 
I mean, we don't know when the next thing, uh, our, psy- our totally. psyche is always going, what's the next yes. thing is going to happen to us Fear or around us or whatever, because the, it's so uncertainty. You know, it was only yeah. going to be two weeks wearing the mask and we're going to be done, you know. So it, we're, we've been lied to, so the brain has no certainty. Mm-hmm. And those that have certainty usually have the most efficient nervous system because you're, you know, you, you know it, you know, like a sports athlete, when they know what they're going to do and they're certain about their behaviors, it happens. But if you're questioning your, your body doesn't show up. But, but using brain tap definitely creates that, um, gives you that power to, um, to just trust in the process too. Mm-hmm. Instead of like, you know, going from fear mode and sympathetic mode to parasympathetic mode, because more relaxed you are, the more you trust life, right? Yeah. Even if there is uncertainty. Yeah. So Yeah, you're not reacting. So. Yeah. Is Emotion, there anybody yeah. that shouldn't use it? Is there any yeah. conditions that shouldn't use it? Well, we tell people if you're under stress and it, your problem gets worse under stress, brain tap's perfect for you. Mm-hmm. That's one way to know it. But if you have epilepsy, which is there's a subset called photo epilepsy, which is about 5% of all epileptics. We've never had anybody have it, but it, they can't play video games either. That's the only group that can't. But all they do is flip the visor up because they can still use the yeah. noje frequencies. Yeah. Even though those ear lights look like they were solid, they're actually flashing at a certain frequency. Yes, and every two are. minutes it yeah. changes. So it's changing through these different frequencies so the body can adapt to those because the body is also adapting. When, uh, like when we're sitting here right now, you've probably heard the expression, I didn't get a good vibe or a good, I got a good vibe from that person. Mm-hmm. That's because our body is literally always evaluating its environment based on frequency. Mm-hmm. And then our body responds to that frequency. So if we were down by the ocean and we're sitting there, our body's going to naturally relax because that body of water totally. resonates at 10 hertz frequency. Mm-hmm. If we go to a mountaintop, it's going to resonate at 7.8 hertz frequency. So these frequencies our body adjusts to. And like why some people have such a bad response from um, 5G and things like that is that's three, they say 50 million or 30 to 50 million pulses per second. That's, we're used to 0.05 to 100. Those are earth frequencies. If we go up to that frequency, our body just doesn't know what to do with it. So it's trying to figure out what is this, what is this frequency? It's not one that ever gets from the sun. So, can the brain tap help with that 5G? <laughs> oh, yeah. If you, if you read the book Radiation Nation, yeah. uh, that brain tap's their first. Really? That's the first resource. Because the first thing that happens when you get radi- when you get this discomfort, the body goes out of regulation. Mm-hmm. So the brain gets out of dis- Actually, I used to be super sensitive, like super uh, 5G sensitive. Mm-hmm. And any, any elect- uh, electricity, electronics, Wi-Fi. And I'm not as sensitive anymore. Mm-hmm. I mean... Another part of, benefit. Part of it is our bodies. Um, I didn't bring it with me today, so we can't do it. But if somebody has a voltometer, mm-hmm. you know how you measure yeah. across. Yeah, I have yeah. that. Mm-hmm. If, if you have that, you yes. bring it because we'll show people. Everyone pretty much is running around with three volts of energy running through their system. Wow. should be zero. That's but cool. we're not grounded anymore. We wear yeah. shoes. We should be walking yeah. around like hippies. With That's no why shoes living <laughs> next to the ocean is good yeah. here because. Oh, the know. ocean water is one of yes. the best ways to ground if you can get into the ocean. And, yeah, Absolutely. Well, you guys, we don't have that much time left. So before we go, to tell us, what what is the future of this technology? What can we look forward to? Well, eventually in the labs, we're doing interactive. I, I want to revolutionize how neurofeedback is done because traditional neurofeedback, we don't see long-term results with that. If somebody out there has a long-term result study, I'll pay you $1,000. Wow. I've never seen one after the fact that shows brain fitness long-term. They always say, you've gotten some results, but we need to do another 40 sessions. Hmm. That's because you can't get enough training in three days a week going into a clinic. You need this at home. So what I'm what I'm working on, and we've done a few prototypes, is imagine going to sleep at night with a sleep mask that's brain tap enabled, hmm. and it's measuring your brain waves while you sleep. And it's set to trigger if you come out of the deep theta state at a, in alpha. And, and when you start to pop out into beta, it clips clicks on and puts you back to sleep. Oh, I would love that. And so that's that's one <laughs> that we're working on. Yeah. So <laughs> we're that's right now we we're working on that with our Brazilian partner because yeah. we're going to do the studies down there, but I think right there's so much we could do with it. And then also yeah. teaching people to wake up. So if we can wake them up in in an up cycle, right now it kind of happens by accident. People just wake up one morning and go, "Wow, I got a lot of energy." And the next morning they go, oh, "I can't believe I I slept 12 hours but I can't get out of bed." Hmm. It's because the cycles we go through so we're going to train, you can set your sleep parameters and train your brain to do that. Like Silva, you know, Silva used to keep awake and sleep control. Now we're going to use technology to do it. 
That's incredible. Yeah. You guys, this has been so much incredible information. I'm so happy you came today. Thank you so much. Yeah. And braintap.com and the webpage will have a link. Yeah, we have a link. Uh, that link will let them get a free copy of my book, Thrive and Overdrive, Ooh. which is a different book. It's the, it's the real book. It's not a web version. It's okay. The, and then they'll get to keep that no matter what they do. They can read about that. And then they'll get 15 days on the app. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. This is exciting stuff. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Delphine Circle. Don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it will help us keep these incredible interviews coming your way. Here are two other episodes you may enjoy. I'm Delphine. Welcome to my circle. Theme, welcome to my circle. Theme, welcome to my circle.